Fast-moving Typhoon Mitag is gaining strength as it brushes Taiwan this hour. The storm is packing maximum winds of 162 kilometers per hour and torrential rain. It will pass closer to northern and northeastern Taiwan than was earlier predicted. Earlier today, authorities shut down financial markets, closed schools and cancelled more than 150 flights amid flood and landslide warnings that have been issued. Now, some train services were also suspended. This morning, the storm left 2,700 homes without power. About 12,000 soldiers were on standby as the island prepares for the worst. Taiwan Central Weather Bureau has warned that the situation will deteriorate in the east and north overnight. Residents have been advised to stay indoors as much as possible. The typhoon is forecast to hit the coast of Yilan County this evening. And the effects of the storm, well, they're expected to be felt until tomorrow. It's forecast to make landfall in the eastern province of Zhejiang tomorrow afternoon. It's a bad timing for China as they head into a week-long National Day holiday. Now, for the latest, our Taiwan correspondent Joyce Huang joins us now. And Joyce, what's the latest update from the authorities? Um, starting from the afternoon, the entire east part and uh, northeastern part of Taiwan is, has be, been in direct threat of the typhoon, and we have begun to uh, to to feel uh, showers and gusty winds. But um, so reports of uh, collapsed trees and topple, topple motorcycles have been uh, heard, but so far no crazy winds or um, uh, explosive r rainfalls as it is feels yet. According to the Central Weather Bureau, the typhoon, the storm, is moving at a speed of 23 kilometers per, per hour with a maximum sustained winds of 126 kilometers and with gusts of up to 160 kilometers. The radius, radius of the storm is 180 kilometers. So it'll come to, uh, closer to the island around, uh, 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 around this time and make landfall earlier, we were told. So that means that um, the storm will pick up uh, its uh, strength with uh, stronger winds and uh, heavier rainfall in the next six hours because that is the critical hour for the uh, storm to gain strength. Authorities have warned of potential risk of flood and mudslides. A mudslide, and uh, given the scale of the storm, uh, agricultural losses are very possible. Joyce, taking all of that into account, do we know what precautions authorities have taken? Yes, uh, schools and works have been closed. Flights, uh, up to more than 150 flights have been canceled. Part of the roads have been closed. Uh, most importantly, evacuation has, has been made. Hundreds of people, if not thousands, have been asked to stay in shelters, uh, especially in the mountainous uh, areas living in Hualien or Xinju. Uh, they have been asked to stay in shelters and safer for, for the sake of the places. And um, uh, no casualty, unfortunately, so far, but as the latest report showed that um, more than 13,000 households had ex once experienced power outage. Authorities have been very quick uh, rush to repair the, gri uh, the grid and put the power line back in place, and power has been restore restored and resumed for the majority of homes.